my god, it's been a very long time since I picked up the camera. Wow. Anyways, it's been a while and I haven't uploaded because I don't really have any, not gonna lie, I don't really have any content. Um, I don't really have any new parts to install. I have a lot of parts I want to install, but I'm broke. But besides that, the WX is glowing right now in the sun. You guys see this? Look at this. Well, if you guys didn't know, I actually installed rear super low, rear bag rider super low struts on the WX. So that is why the rears are tucking and the car, the ride height of the car is actually super, super low now. And I'm actually really happy with that. I recorded a little bit of it, but I ended up not um, uploading or making a video out of it just because things kind of got really, things got hard and I just wanted to focus on getting it installed. But yeah, the struts are on the car right now and it looks, looks super, looks super good. All that is left is control arms, um, spacers, we're gonna slot my front struts, everything like that, but that will be a little later. So from the title of today's video, you guys can probably see um, that we're talking about state refs. I'm making this video because one of you guys actually commented down in the comment section and asked me to make a video about state refs and what to expect. I thought it would be perfect because this is actually the two year anniversary of when I got state ref on the WRX. But if you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram, pretty active on there, kind of just throwing stuff in my story, um, just, you know, updating y'all and just kind of just having fun on there. If you guys want to see more of me, follow that. But that is besides the point, we're gonna be talking about state refs. So this video will be very straightforward and a little bit different from other people's point of views when they got state ref. Because when I see a lot of other people's videos and when they get state ref, they, they explain it kind of just like, weirdly, you know what I mean? I'm literally just gonna explain it to you guys in the most like normal, basic way ever and you guys will 100% know exactly what to do when you get state ref. So if you do not know what a state ref is, a state ref is actually when a police officer or cop and whatever, highway patrol, any, you know, state ref is actually a ticket or a process, basically a ticket that an officer will give you for driving one of these bad boys right here. It can happen for a variety of reasons and it really depends on the cop that you get. For example, a cop can stop me for my tint and not state ref me, it'll be more of a fixing ticket. But um, state refing is more common when your car is, well, super loud and um, kind of obnoxious in a way. It's illegal to modify your exhaust. It's illegal to play with anything um, emission related or whatever. So basically that is a state ref and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get that ticket and you're supposed to go to a state referee and they're supposed to inspect your car for all these parts and you're supposed to take them off and your car's supposed to be like, goody two shoes the way it's supposed to be. When I was state ref, I actually got refed up for my exhaust and that was it. Nothing emission related, literally just my exhaust and it got refed. I did make a video of it on the YouTube channel and uh, I'll put it right over here so you guys can click that or probably whatever the click thing is. But you guys can click it and um, check it out and see kind of what I did. I know the night that I got state refed, that, that literal exact night, we, me and a couple of the guys, me, Andy and Justin, actually stayed in the garage, my garage, and we took apart the entire car and threw it back to stock. We did that because technically, when you get state rift, you're not allowed to drive the car. The car is illegal, and well, the car, my car is, my car is illegal, but you're not supposed to drive it because if you get pulled over again while you're state rift and you don't have it cleared, you have the possibility of getting impounded. So there's actually two ways Three, there's actually three ways to deal with a state ref. Option number one is plain and simple. You can literally just pay the ticket off and it'll be um, cleared. The only downside is it is really expensive. And let's say you get state ref again, that second fine for getting state ref again after you paid it off, you will have to pay even more. I know this because I have a buddy, his name is Andrew. He drives a Ford Focus ST and I think he's been state ref like at least more than like six times and every time he um well not every time the first time he did take things off and put it back on but later on he just said dude i'm not doing this more i'm just gonna pay it and the fine was super super hefty he just i literally i asked him about it and he said yeah you can literally just pay it off and be done with your day but the thing that sucks is it's so expensive the second thing you can do is actually get it properly cleared and go to a state referee what you're gonna have to do is take your car and take everything off and go to state referee and they will clear you. But don't be fooled, you still have to pay money. Stupid, like you, you it's, it's dumb, I know, you have to pay money for it. You have to pay money for the appointment and you have to pay money to pay the ticket. Even if you get cleared, you have to pay the ticket. So you literally, I think my process was, I tried to save money the, as best as I could took off everything when state ref and I still paid $400, 400, no, 
four or five or six hundred dollars to clear the car and it's 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 stupid the third way you can clear your car is actually take it to court you can take the ticket to court and actually fight it um by that i don't know how you would do that but you know you can take off all the parts say you know this officer just wrote me down for a lot of things because i actually have not, literally all my friends almost all my friends have been state ref we've all been state ref it's literally a part of the game we didn't do anything stupid wrong nothing stupid they just kind of harassing us and state refing us for everything but almost everyone has gone to ref and one of my buddies alec he got refed up and i know that he took it to court and they actually dismissed a lot of the fees and he ended up paying like 25 or 50 bucks total so you can do that but the only downside of that is um it's going to take a really long time because you have to set up an appointment you have to meet with the judge you have to talk about everything so things like that so yeah the judge can actually waive a lot of the fees if you get it fixed i know alex still went through the process of um removing everything he went back to his stock exhaust and everything he changed all his emission stuff and they waived it he showed them like hey look this is all cleared i fixed everything um, and they waived those fees so he only paid like 25 dollars total but yeah i guess some of us are more unlucky than others it's been two years and i've only been state ref once i've seen a bunch of other cops and they haven't done anything pulled me over or anything um mainly i guess because well i mean i am running a sock exhaust but paired with a j pipe it's still pretty loud um and the car's red and i would expect to get a lot more attention because the car is red but i haven't gotten roughed up in um you know two years and crossing my fingers knocking on wood i am uh i hope to not get state reft anytime soon you are paying to play the game when you modify your cars here in california or anywhere that um any other state that kind of enforces on this stuff like that you're gonna have to pay to play the game they're gonna ref you up they can give you tickets for almost anything ever if you're unlucky stuff like that like for example y'all like y'all know my buddy chris he has gotten state reft I don't even know how many times. He's gone state ref so many times. It's almost like he gets state ref a couple times a year. So unlucky. Um, but he kind of has to go through the same exact processes as I listed every single time. Honestly, I believe that there are a lot of cops who literally don't care. They don't give a sh they, they, they literally don't care if you're driving this and everything. But if you're literally being stupid, you have a pop scene on your car, you're popping, you're driving really fast, you're racing, you're doing literally the dumbest things known to man driving a car, they're going to ref you up. You're literally asking for it. But if you're just, you know, chilling and not doing anything, they're not going to pull you over. That's honestly what I'm thinking, you know. Well, I, no, I, I take that back. I take that back because a lot of us are literally chilling and they ref us anyways. But honestly, it's a lot, a lot, the high percentage of cops don't really care, literally. But there's always those, those handful of cops who are tasked with pulling modified cars over or if they're just having a bad day and they just don't like cars, stuff like that. And honestly, with that being said, if you guys are doing stupid stuff, do it on a track, do it somewhere hidden don't get caught you know what i'm saying don't be stupid don't take over don't do like the takeovers suck and something i've noticed recently the takeover scene is dying which is great it's amazing i hate i've always hated the takeovers they ruin everything for us and with that being said with the takeover scene actually dying i've actually seen a lesser percentage of cops pulling over just regular daily modified cars but yeah i'm literally just going off about this and uh it's basically just told you guys my experience what to expect and what you can do and um real i mean i hope you guys really enjoyed it um i'm really hoping to get more content for you guys i feel kind of bad because all i literally all i've been doing so far lately is just spamming content on instagram i'm kind of trying to make my instagram look better at least you know because i think that would just be better in general i've been doing that posting a lot more photos on instagram a lot more reels just kind of doing that just because you know why not have my phone on me all the time i can just you know quickly take a video of the car whenever just somewhere just add some music to it post it you know why not but then when it comes to youtube i don't know i've been i've been trying to vlog a little bit more but there's really nothing to vlog i'm really like doing thing i don't even know what to do you know what i mean um i know you guys like seeing the insoles you guys like basically just seeing the build of the car but um you know vlogging vlog, i guess vlogging will come a little more naturally at least just trying to see what you guys want and if you guys don't want it i don't care i'm probably still gonna post it anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video had a blast of time standing out here talking to this camera and i actually missed it i missed making videos miss editing but um i literally don't know what to make man you guys commenting down in the comments is actually 
helpful tells me what you guys want to see and uh what it can do i can make a lot more videos for you guys like that and also just finding the time for it i have a lot of time right now but most of the days i don't anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any other video suggestions let me know down in the comment section below let me know what you guys think about the debris and let me know um you know what else you want to see i think i said that already i'll see you guys next time um bye